unfortunately, I think I'm a perfectionist. Good morning everyone. It has been quite the morning. I know I look a little bit rough and honestly, mentally, I haven't really been feeling that great. This morning, while doing yoga, I was getting very frustrated and I kind of just couldn't really get into some poses and my wrists were hurting and my pants were uncomfortable and things just didn't work out and it frustrated me a lot. I didn't really have a good time doing yoga today. Usually it helps me to calm down and feel better about me and my body but there's just days where I feel like yoga just has this way of bringing feelings to the surface that you've been trying to hide and especially in January since I've started doing yoga daily I feel like day after day it brings out so much sadness that I think I've stored and pushed down in 2021 I decided to journal about it as you saw and that helped I'm trying to journal more in 2022 because I feel like it's no good storing all of this inside and letting it come out in bursts of usually anger or frustration. I've been noticing that I've just been talking to myself very negatively and also I started talking negatively to my boyfriend and that's just really not something I want to continue doing. So I think journaling is a good way to help me kind of overcome that. I think 2021 was just a very difficult year for me. A lot of things happened and accumulated and I feel like sometimes that there is this huge ball of sadness and frustration inside of me and it's like a poison that kind of keeps controlling me and holding me back from becoming the version that I want to be for myself. And this year, I really want to work towards not letting these old emotions, this old trauma affect me and my day-to-day -day life and work towards a future where this sadness doesn't hold me back, where I can start dreaming again and hoping because I've noticed that whenever I think about my future, I can't really see myself living a good life or a long life or I don't know, there's just nothing really that I dream of achieving and I'm trying to build that up again because there was a version of me when I was younger that dreamt a lot and that was so happy and that wanted to achieve so much. I really want to regain that certainty that I can achieve everything I want and I also want to regain the ability to dream. Those are kind of my goals for 
2022 and I just want to try to not let people who carry their own frustrations with them and voice them hold me back and control me and yeah this year I'm really trying to become a happier version of myself who isn't controlled by these people and these lingering emotions and experiences that I've been holding on to and now let's continue with the day <laughs> evening everyone it's 6 20 i'm getting ready for work <laughs> i'm working the night shift today i'll be working from 7 to 10 it's a very short shift only three hours i actually enjoy night shifts i mean it is a bit hard <laughs> to get out of the house when it's already dark and all you want to do is lay on the couch and just chill for the rest of the night. I am kind of used to it by now. I work this shift fairly often, so it doesn't really bother me anymore. There's pros and cons, but I'm definitely feeling much better than this morning. It really helped that I journaled. I, I took a little bit of care of myself today. Um, I think I won't talk to you again until tomorrow, so... I'll just say goodbye. Thank you.
The day has really flown by today. We just went grocery shopping. We ate in the city. We had a lovely time. And so far I've only done yoga. We've, we did a little bit of our household chores. And now I actually wanted to sit down and study. But I realized that my tablet was actually uh, not charged. So I'm charging that and instead I am planning on editing the vlog footage that I have collected over the past few weeks because I've been procrastinating doing that. I actually wanted to talk to you about a revelation that I made this year already. And that is that unfortunately I think I'm a perfectionist. In the past I would always say that I'm not in fact a perfectionist because to be a perfectionist everything you do has to be perfect. Like in my head perfectionists were these really just like perfect people and I'm not that so for me that meant that I'm not a perfectionist and also the fact that everything I made to me seemed not good enough for me to actually consider myself a perfectionist but exactly that thinking is what makes me a perfectionist and I just realized that <laughs> The fact that I have never really been content with anything I've created or put out really shows that I have these perfectionistic tendencies. And I think it really holds me back in my life because I have a habit of quitting things that I do because I'm just not good enough. And for YouTube in the past, that meant that like 90% of the content I film, I don't upload. <laughs> I just was never really happy with anything I filmed or took photos off and I thought that it was just not good enough for people to watch. And this is definitely one of my goals that I have this year to try and not be as much of a perfectionist and to let go of wanting everything I make to be at a certain level. Because I think the level that I want to reach with I can only reach if I progress and if I get better, but I can only get better if I just continuously work on it and fail sometimes as well. So that's definitely one thing I want to improve on this year. And I do want to get better at YouTube and making videos. And I can only do that if I really just get behind editing my footage even if it hurts sometimes. <laughs> yeah, I need to let you guys judge my content for me <laughs> because I can't just decide that before you even see it that you won't like it. Right now, I'm kind of forcing myself to finally go through that footage and try and edit it so that you can see it. Thank you. 